He's going to hold it for the last shot. You got to give this ball to Kobe. Bremer kicks it to Kobe in the post. He gets doubled. Kicks it out. Mike Miller wide open for the win. The six-seeded Orlando Magic are moving on to the conference finals with a Mike Miller game winner. You guessed it. We get Kobe versus Jordan and, and, and Shaq. This Hornet team has got to go all the way. This That team is insane. The Mavericks can still tie. He misses a second. Dallas does not have a timeout. Five seconds left. They give it to Kendall Gill. Three seconds left. Are they going to get a shot off? He takes the midi. All right. What is going on, everybody? And welcome to what I am calling the new NBA. So shout out to King of the Fourth Quarter, of course. Uh, he created a series called He Created His Own NBA Universe. And what he did was he started in the Kobe era did a fantasy draft and he spins a wheel of draft classes and he basically makes his own universe of the nba and i figured i'm gonna do that same thing maybe with some different touches to it um so i figured that'd be a fun way to just have you know flowing consistent content and not being bored out of my mind so i'm gonna he has like he's doing like one hour videos each day i'm gonna do something different i'm gonna have each episode will be one season so episode one, I'm not sure if this one will be a season because it's going to take a while to just look over every roster. But each episode, we will go through an entire season and off season, and that's how it will work. And before each new season, we will spin a wheel um, for the draft class. So we're going to start with a fantasy draft. The Magic get the number one overall pick. Timberwolves, Sonics, Hornets, Raptors, Blazers, Sixers, Cavs, Clippers, Jazz, Bucks, Rockets, Suns, Nets, Nuggets, Bulls, Grizzlies, Pacers, Wizards, Hawks, Mavericks, Heat. My favorite team get 20 seconds, so they might not be good to start off. Uh, Spurs, Lakers, Warriors, Pistons, Knicks, Kings, Celtics get the last pick because there's only 29 teams in the league. Yeah, that's correct. The Bobcats aren't a thing. So we're seeing some historic franchises down here at the bottom of this draft. So the Magic, who... Uh, I'm going to send the entire draft. I'm controlling everyone, and we'll see who were the top picks. And the draft is finished with the first pick. The Orlando Magic select Kobe Bryant, 24 years old. He's already on a six-year deal. Number two, Tim Duncan ends up going to the Timberwolves. Kevin Garnett ends up falling to the Supersonics. The Timberwolves end up going with Tim Duncan over Garnett. The Hornets get 30-year-old Shaq. T-Max stays, or he wasn't in Toronto yet, but he ends up in Toronto. Trailblazers get Jason Kidd. Allen Iverson stays with the 76ers. Uh, Dirk goes to the Cavaliers. Vince Carter ends up with the Clippers. Jermaine O'Neal at the 10th overall pick goes to the Jazz. Um, Sean Marion goes to the Bucks. Ben Wallace goes to the Rockets. Paul Pierce, 25 years old, to the Suns. Michael Jordan goes 14 to the Nets. If I'm the Nets, that's a bad pick. Unless you want to try and compete this year, you don't draft 39-year-old Michael Jordan. Um, Yao Ming goes to the Nuggets. He is only 22. He's going to have a nice long career in this universe, hopefully. Elton Brand ends up on the Bulls. Tony Parker, 20 years old, uh, ends up on the Grizzlies. Peja on the Pacers. Steve Nash goes to the Wizards. Gilbert Arenas goes to the Hawks. Gary Payton to the Mavericks. The Heat get Baron Davis, 23 years old. That's a good pick. Um, Pau Gasol goes to the Spurs. Uh, Chauncey Billups to the Lakers. Steve Francis to the Warriors. As we're seeing with these later picks, teams are picking um, younger players. Uh, Stephon Marbury to the Knicks. Stoudemire to the Kings. And Ray Allen with the last pick to the Celtics. Uh, we will end up seeing everyone's teams later on. And I'm going to go through and fix players' tendencies. And now it's time to spin the wheel. All righty. Here we go. Here is the wheel of draft classes here. We are going to spin it and see what we are going to get. First year will be the 2009 NBA draft class. So we're going to use, obviously, 2K's draft class, and we're going to go 2009. Who does that consist of? That is the Steph Curry, James Harden, and Blake Griffin draft. We're going to see Curry Harden in the league next season. These top three picks are going to go nuts. You're going to want to be a bottom team. So let's go look at these rosters real quick. And then if I see any discrepancies or anything, I will change them. Like if a team has more than like one player 
at a position that's good. I might switch the position around. So Allen Iverson stays with the Sixers. Along, he has Michael Finley and Marcus Camby. This team is not good. Uh, this Bucks team with Sean Marion and Jason Richardson. Elton Brand and Bruce Bowen with the Bulls. Yeah, this Bulls team is bad, dude. You got 35-year-old Derek Coleman, 32-year-old Mourning, and 31, Bruce Bowen. 24-year-old Dirk Nowitzki is with the Cavaliers, along with 40-year-old John Stockton. Uh, Ray Allen and Sam Cassell team up together. The Celtics, I don't know what they were doing. I guess they were trying to compete, but obviously this team is not going to do much. They have no real young talent on this team. Vince Carter and Andre Miller and Jalen Rose. This team is pretty solid. They just have nothing else besides those four. The Grizzlies are not going to be good. Their youngest player is Tony Parker. Uh, Gilbert Arenas, Jerry Stackhouse. Uh, so we're not seeing a like, great team. This... This duo could be dangerous in the future. Baron Davis and AK-47. That's the Heat did a good job there. And then Joe Johnson at 24 years old. This Heat team may not be a playoff team this year, but they I give it three years, and this Heat team's going to be a top seed in the Eastern Conference. Um, I am not seeing any, like, big... Like, I don't even know who would my favorite be. Like, this Knicks team is really good. They have a nice balance of young players. Uh, same thing with this Lakers team. But right now... I'm not really seeing one team that's blowing me away. It might be... Oh, my God. Scottie Pippen and Jordan are together. Oh, dear Lord. It might be this Nets team. Even though Jordan's 39 and Scottie Pippen's 37, this Nets team is not bad. They're just missing a point guard. Um, other than that, there are not many teams... Uh, this Raptors team, I this Raptors team might be my favorite, but they're super young. Same thing, this Pistons team is really good. I'm looking at just overall talent. Not just top players. Same thing with the Suns team is pretty solid. Uh, other than that, yeah. I mean, there could be parity. I don't know who is going to come up victorious as the champs. But I'm going to go through, fix some tendencies, and I'll see you all uh, when we start simulating. Alrighty, let's start simulating. Opening night, who is the first game? It will be Sixers, Magic, we we'll simulate, and the Sixers end up winning by a point. Kobe and Allen Iverson dueling in opening night. 37 points for Kobe, 26 for Allen Iverson, and the Sixers are victorious in game two. It was Cavs, Kings, and the Cavaliers ended up winning with 25 points from um, Amari Sotomayor for the Kings. And Dirk drops 36 points in the victory. And the Lakers get a 23-point victory over the Spurs. With Charles Sprewell, 32. Charles Phillips, 26. And Kevin... Kenyon Martin, 23 points. Paul Gasol only had 20. Now, we're going to start simulating, and we might simulate to the trade deadline or around that time, and uh, I'm going to always have CPU adjust rotations. Probably going to have to do that. Actually, yeah, let me, I got to put auto. So, one thing I'm going to do is I am going to uh, veto trades and all that. So, um, obviously, trade approval on, um, and I'm going to put everything on auto for these teams. If they want to sign players, they can go right ahead. All right, everything should be automated now, and we're going to simulate. Um, so the Sixers right now off to an okay start. They're 9-11. and 11. Not a great record to mention out loud. But um, when trades start popping up, obviously I'll let you all know. All right, and we're already at the trade deadline. And obviously as a commissioner of this league, I am going to make trades as I fit so. Like if I think a team is uh, buying or whatever, or needs another piece. The Hornets are the one seed. Or needs another piece. I will make that trade for them. Um, so one thing I'm going to do is. I'm going to turn on trade override. Uh, so if I feel like I want to make that trade. I'm going to make that trade. So nothing has really happened. I don't think. Uh, transaction report. I don't think any trades. Yeah literally not a single trade has happened. Uh, Jason Kidd got re-signed. Tim Duncan got re-signed. Other than that not much. So let's go looking around the league. Seeing uh, who's doing what. Okay, the first player that's going to end up being on the trade block is Ben Wallace. He is upset with the current situation in Houston. And uh, he is under contract, but if he's upset, they're rebuilding. They are not good. He's 28 years old. I think he's going to get the hell up out of there. Another team is that Brooklyn Nets squad with Michael Jordan. They are just not good. They are currently the 10th seed. They're only a half game back of eight, but it does say they are rebuilding. So maybe I'll keep them together. But obviously, uh, Michael Jordan and the crew is not getting it done. All right. Ben Wallace is going to be heading to Utah for a package of James Posey, Jeff Foster, a roster filler, a calorie, salary cap filler, 
two first round picks um one is a top 10 protected for this year and then this one for 2024 is unprotected and an unprotected second round pick that deal is going to go through and ben wallace is now a member of the utah jazz let's go look at what that jazz roster is going to look like now they are currently i believe the sixth seed and they now have um a starting lineup of brevin knight who's okay he's shooting pretty bad uh ricky davis um grant hill jermaine o'neal and ben wallace this team right now is might be the favorites um the next team that might make a deal um, now the Rockets can focus on rebuilding mainly for this draft. Um, next team that might make a deal, I don't know. I mean, the Supersonics are solid. They just don't have a small forward, but they have Gerald Wallace, who's only 20. Uh, this Timberwolves team is looking for a point guard. All righty. The Nets are going to be sending Michael Jordan to the Hornets for Carlos Boozer, a um, salary cap filler, and this year's first-round pick, which will be one of the worst picks. The Hornets are currently the best team in basketball. And Carlos Boozer is on the last year of his deal and has decided he will not re-sign with the team. So we're going to send him to the Nets from Michael Jordan. Jordan, at the age of 39, who will also be a free agent, will have a chance at his possible seventh ring. And the Nets are honestly just in cap hell. I mean, Scottie Pippen will be a free agent, but he got Antonio McDice under contract. So Carlos Boozer will be a nice young piece, and you can grab something in this draft and hopefully tank. So that trade is going through. This new Nets team looks like they are not even going to start. That doesn't make much sense. Uh, they got to dump Scottie Pippen. Uh, he's on a one-year deal, but I'm going to find a team that's bad with salary cap space that they can just dump him to. All right, they're going to send Scottie Pippen, Chris James, for Byron Russell, and Bob Zura. And uh, the Nets sending two second-round picks. Just a salary dump trade. That is done. And now Carlos Boozer can be the starting power forward this front court's pretty yeah, actually this starting lineup isn't bad this team isn't awful they could possibly still make the playoffs i don't think they will but they have a nice solid core and those are going to be all the trades i make for this season so let's go ahead simulate to the end of this year but first before we do that let's check out stat um stats at the halfway point that's for the miami heat i'm talking about league leaders league leaders uh trace mcgrady is leading the league in points for the Raptors, uh, Kobe Bryant with 32 points, AI's averaging 30, uh, Dirk's averaging 29, and Tim Duncan's averaging 29 and 15. Uh, if we go over to award races, there's another thing. If I feel like someone shouldn't have won the award, I will change the award. I am the owner of this league. I am the commissioner. I will do what I want. Right now, Kevin Garnett is leading the MVP race. Rookie of the Year is led by Yao Ming. Sixth Man of the Year, Derek Coleman. Defensive player of the year, Ron Artest, who's averaging 18 points, 7 rebounds, 3 steals, 2 blocks. That's insane. Uh, most improved, Richard Jefferson. Definitely well-deserved. And obviously, yep. And then All-Stars. I think the All-Star, yeah. So, All-Star voting. We can see that. Actually, let's just go to the participants. These All-Stars, Kobe, T-Mac, Shaq, Dirk, Sean Marion, Allen Iverson, Steve Nash, Elton Brand, Antoine Walker, Jamal Mashburn, Peja, and Ray Allen. And for the West, Jason Kidd. Vince Carter, Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, Gary Payton, Chauncey Billups, Jermaine O'Neal, Sharif Abdul Rahim, Yao Ming. Yeah, he is back with Memphis. I was about to say, I remember him playing for the Grizzlies. Yao Ming, Pal Gasol as a second year player, and Steve Francis headlines the Western All Stars. Let's go ahead and simulate to the end of this season. All right, approaching the end of the season, Kevin Garnett is your most valuable player, averaging 28 points. Four rebounds, six assists, a steal and a half, and two blocks on 60% shooting. Yao Ming is your Rookie of the Year, 15, 11, and two blocks. Uh, Derek Coleman is your Sixth Man of the Year, 14 and eight, a block and a half. 41% for the field is not great, um, unless I can find a player that did better. Um, I won't switch it, but I mean, I'll check. Yeah, nope, that award was well deserved. Ron Artest wins your DPOI. Michael Red is your most improved player. Yep, I would have gave it to Richard Jefferson, but Michael Red clears 100%. Uh, and Paul Silas is your coach of the year. All NBA first team is as seen. Here's the second team and the third team. No one that stands out to me except Pau Gasol making the All NBA third team in the second season. All defensive first team and second team is as seen. AK-47 making it for the Miami Heat. And Ben Wallace making it for that Jazz team. 
um all rookie first team and all rookie second team manu was a rookie at 25 really interesting i never knew that here are the standings the jazz were the eighth seed how did the jazz get worse oh no the west was insane oh because top three so the lakers got the three seed with 41 wins because they won their piss poor division no the suns are in their division how did the lakers get the three seed then if the suns are in there am i mistaken the suns are in their division a hundred percent yeah oh no the sonics won't that still doesn't make any sense why the Lakers are the three seed at 41 wins. That makes no sense. Why is that a thing? I don't know if it's some rule. but Or is it because they didn't have enough divisions? How many divisions are in the West? One, two. There's only two divisions in the West. That's why. There's two East divisions and two West divisions. So it is that. So, okay. So that's how that works. So... It, uh, I don't know, honestly. Um, Suns, Portland. Yeah, so the Jazz with 45 wins get the 8th seed. And the Sonics were the best team in basketball, led by Kevin Garnett, Gerald Wallace, and Bobby Jackson. And in the EC, Hornets, with now Michael Jordan. I even have to switch his position at the small forward. Um, yeah, that, that Hornets team is probably my favorites. The Milwaukee Bucks with um, Sean Marion. I don't know how this team was a 2 seed. Sixers, Celtics, the Heat tied. For a seven and eight, but didn't make it. All right, let's go ahead, simulate this first round, see if there's any upsets. Three o, three o, nothing yet. Um, all right, I don't see anything so far. The Lakers have been eliminated. Um, they were the three seed. They got eliminated by the Mavericks. Uh, no seven, no game sevens yet. Uh, the Sonics, the one seeded Sonics, get eliminated by the eight seed Utah Jazz. The two seeded or three seeded Sixers get eliminated by the Orlando Magic. The Sonics MVP Kevin Garnett goes out in round one to the Utah Jazz. Maybe the record didn't matter. Let's go to player stats for that series. The Jermaine O'Neal of just 23. Wow, maybe it was just a defensive series. Where is Ben Wallace? He Ben Wallace played like ass, dude. And who are they facing? The Sonics? They must have just fully collapsed then. Yeah, Kevin Garnett. 23 points. Only averaged 42% from the field. 32% for Bobby Jackson. 38% for Marquez, Marquez James. That's bad. The eighth seed prevails. Every low seed so far has moved on. Uh, so let's simulate the Suns have been eliminated the Cavs have been eliminated so the 2c moves on and once again in the West every lower seed has been moving on the Nets have been eliminated and the Timberwolves have been eliminated so in the Western Conference every top seed was eliminated we have a 5-8 matchup a 6-7 matchup and over in the East we have a 1-5 and a 2 six that's insane dude what what a first year for this league simulate through these first games and see how this goes the mavericks are up 3-0 on the clippers currently and they are going to complete the sweep the hornets are also up 3-0 they are also going to complete the sweep 3-1 utah and it goes to 3-2 same down here 3-2 orlando and we have a game seven Let's uh, simulate this Jazz game first. And the eight-seeded Jazz are moving on to the conference finals. Maybe that trade was huge for them. The eight-seeded Jazz on their Cinderella run. And Ben Wallace hasn't even been doing much for them. Um, game seven, though. First game seven of this league is between the Orlando Magic, the six-seed, and the two, I mean, three-seeded. No, is it two-seeded? Two-seeded Milwaukee Bucks. We have, we have a close one so far. Two and a half minutes left. A minute left. Two-point game. We're jumping in. All righty. I believe, I don't know who that is at the free throw line, but two-point game currently. He shoots it. It's good. Green release. Is that Johnson? He doesn't even have a name. Nothing pops up. Can he tie it? Tie game 104-104. A minute 14 left. Dunleafy 
gives the ball to the Kobe Bryant. This is Kobe's team. I forgot he's on the Magic. Kobe Bryant leading the sixth seed here in Game 7. Tie game. Gives it to Dunleavy. Back to Kobe Bryant. Got Marion on him. Kobe Bryant to the basket. Easy lay-in. And the Magic take the two point lead look at the big man comparison 4.6 rebounds for Savonis, 4.8 rebounds for vladi divac sean marion bringing up the ball up the court he has mike dunleavy on him divac sets the screen sean marion hard to the basket is gonna miss it kobe bryant gets the rebound 40 seconds left down head full steam passes up to dunleavy and turns it over to Eddie Jones coming up with the basketball on the perimeter. Kobe Bryant guarding him close. 30 seconds left. Magic up by two. Gives it up to Vladi Divac. Gives it back to Sean Marion. Marion now holding at the top of the, uh, the, the key. Gets a screen from Divac. Pulls up the midi and ties it. 106-106. 18 seconds left. The Magic are going to call a timeout. All right. Out of the glitchy timeout that I had it sit for for a solid 15 seconds. The Magic have the ball. 18 seconds left. Tie game here in game seven of the second round. Bremer with the ball at the top of the key. He's going to hold it for the last shot. You got to give this ball to Kobe. Bremer kicks it to Kobe in the post. He gets doubled. Kicks it out. Mike Miller wide open for the win. The six-seeded Orlando Magic are moving on to the conference finals with a Mike Miller game winner. Kobe Bryant with the vision kicks it out to Miller. They didn't need the three, but they got it. What a game seven. What a way to start off this league. Game seven, the Bucks are eliminated. Box score, Jason Richardson at 22 points. 21 for DeMar Johnson. Wasn't enough. Sean Marion and Larry Hughes just could not help. And for the Magic, 43 for Kobe Bryant. He got his 11th assist on that game winner. Four blocks for the guard. Jay Williams at 20 and 10. I'm assuming he fouled out. Yeah, he fouled out. So did Weatherspoon. So he Kobe won that game without his two leading scorers. But Mike Miller, his one three, the biggest three of the game, gives the Magic a trip to the conference finals. And the conference finals are set. The six seeded Dallas Mavericks going up against the eight seeded Utah Jazz. The one seeded Hornets going up against the six seeded Magic. We get. You guessed it. We get Kobe versus Jordan and, and, and Shaq. This Hornets team's got to go all the way. This That team is insane. But Kobe Bryant ain't letting it, ain't letting it happen. And over here, we're going to simulate that game. We have Gary Payton and Michael Red versus Jermaine O'Neal, Ben Wallace, and Ricky Davis. I have the Jazz in this series. They have all the top-end talent. Let's see. Simulate game by game tie series in the east the jazz are up 2-1 the magic are up 2-1 both series tied 2-2 both top seeds the mavs and the hornets both take 3-2 leads the jazz have been eliminated and kobe bryant is going to game seven against the hornets and michael jordan and right now the magic are running away with this game can the hornets make a comeback they are Eight point game, three minutes left. It doesn't look like they're going to make that comeback. The one seeded Hornets are going to fall to Kobe Bryant's magic. Michael Jordan with 23, Shaq with 21, 16, and Jay Will, or Jason Williams with 20 points. Kobe with 31, J.R. Bremer with 21, and Mike Miller with 18. The magic. And it is the battle of these six seeds. The Mavericks and the Magic. The two favorites get knocked out. And we have Kobe Bryant versus Gary Payton in the NBA Finals. One of these teams will earn their first NBA championship in, I believe, their history. I don't think the Mavericks had a championship coming up to this point. Game one goes to Kobe and the Magic. Kobe drops 39, and Mike Miller is having himself a playoff run here. Game two also goes to the Mavericks by 40 points. Mike Miller drops 34 Kobe didn't even have a good game. He fouled out, and the Magic still end up on top. The Mavericks win game three by three points. Kobe drops 41, but Michael Red with 37. Game four, and the Orlando Magic take a commanding. Oh, my God. Kobe dropped 53 points in this game five. Or game four, I mean. And we're going to Simcast. This is our first ever NBA champion. We have to Simcast here. Will the Magic 
close it out. It's not looking likely. Uh, it's looking like the Mavericks are going to stay alive. And they are going to force a game six behind Gary Payton's 34 and Michael Red's 27. Kobe is having himself a playoffs. He's averaging 32 points currently, but it wasn't enough. Game six. Can the Mavericks force a game seven down three games to one? The Magic now have the lead. It's a close game. That's all I ask. Can we get a close game? Eight minutes left. Four minutes left. And one and a half minutes, two point game. Game six, the Magic have a chance to close it out on their home court. I will definitely be here for this one. Can they do it? Can the Magic win their first ever NBA championship? They're going to give it up to Kobe. This court is pretty fire. They're going to give it up to Kobe. Up by two. Kobe Bryant got a clear path, but gives it to Dunleavy who misses. The Mavericks with the ball here going up the court. Gary Payton with it. Looking for his first ever NBA championship. Goes up. Pump fake. Dunleavy. Good defense. But it's an and one. Gary Payton now. Kobe has 39. Gary Payton with a chance to cut, extend the lead to one. And give the Mavericks a one point lead. A minute left in these NBA finals. Can he do it? He's going to knock down the first free throw. Give up the ball to Kobe Bryant. Nope. They're going to give it to Jay Will. This, this duo, J. Will and Kobe, is going to be great for the future. I already know it. J. Will gives it up to Kobe in the post. He's got some auto-generated guy on. A pump fake gives it back up to J. Will. J. Will now at the perimeter. He's got Gary Payne on him, the greatest defending guard in NBA history. J. Will gives it up to Sabonis, and he hits the layup. He gives the Magic a one-point lead. Now, Kendall Gill dribbling up the ball for the Dallas Mavericks, what will they do? He gets a screen. Kendall Gill had an open shot. Gives it up to Gary Payton, who puts up a hook shot. And it's off Sabonis with the rebound. Mike Miller, the savior of this team. He is a main reason why they are here. Him and Kobe are here in the NBA Finals. If he doesn't hit that big shot, they are not even past the second round. Kobe, all he needs to do is hold that ball. Shot clock is at 9 currently. And Kobe gives it up to Weatherspoon. He puts up the layup. It's off. 20 seconds left the magic they didn't need a call time out there but they do i mean the mavericks all right dallas 20 seconds on the clock down by one trying to force a game seven can they do it gary payton head full of steam you have time you do not need a shot right away you have 13 seconds left gary payton pulls up with the mid and he misses so bonus is gonna get fouled eight seconds left they better hope all right, so bonus at the free throw line. It's possible he misses. He makes the first. Even if he makes both of them, the Maverick can still tie. He misses a second. Dallas does not have a timeout. Five seconds left. They give it to Kendall Gill. Three seconds left. Are they going to get a shot off? He takes the mini. And the Orlando Magic are the NBA champions. Kobe Bryant leads his team to the promised land in year number one of this league. Jay Will... Mike Miller, Mike Dunleavy, and Kobe Bryant are NBA champions. What a way to end it off. I just realized I had no audio. Kobe Bryant wins the first ever championship in this new league. It's poetic with the Orlando Magic. Unbelievable. They are not here if it's not for that Mike Miller game winner in the second round against Milwaukee. And now we see the trophy celebration. And Adam Silver is still looking at it. Doc Rivers was the head coach. Doc Rivers gets an NBA championship early in his career. I wonder if he was actually... Trails, you guys might not have been able to hear me. I wonder if he was actually the head coach around this time. I know he did coach the Magic, I think, at one point. But Doc Rivers hoist, hoist up the Larry O'Brien trophy for the first time in his career in the Magic's first ever NBA championship. Kobe Bryant is going to be your Bill Russell Finals MVP. Final box there, Kobe drops 39-10-7. Sabonis 15-8. Mike Miller at 13 and for the Mavericks. Gary Payne with 32. Michael Red with 20. That's the closest Gary Payne might ever be to an NBA championship. And he falls in six games to the Orlando Magic. Kobe 37 points, 7 rebounds, and 7 assists. Wins finals MVP, and that does it for season number one. Michael Jordan retires. Yep, I'm going to let him retire. I'm not going to override any of these retirements, staff retirements, 
Hall of Fame inductees, obviously, the GOAT, Michael Jordan, retire. Stork changes. Orlando Magic rebrand. Yep, I'll let all these go through. Um, league meetings. Everything is rejected. Um, yeah, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Uh, draft lottery. This is big. Seth Curry, James Harden, Blake Griffin. Oh, my God. The Magic. They made a trade with the Kings. I didn't make that trade, did I? Oh my god, there's no way this team is going to win the championship and add the first overall pick. I won't I won't allow it. They fell to two. The Bulls get number one. The Pistons get number three via Memphis. Oh my god, the Magic after just winning the NBA championship. What trade did they make? There's no trade here. How? Did they just have it? Did the Magic just own that pick at this time? That's insane. That's insane. The, the Magic just... Won the championship and now we'll add James Harden and Steph Curry or Blake Griffin to their team. If this team, oh my god, we could see a Steph Curry Kobe backcourt, we could see a James Harden Kobe backcourt. Oh dear god, dude, this league is in trouble now. This league is in trouble. Let's go to the NBA draft. Number one overall pick, the Chicago Bulls are going to draft Stephen Curry out of Davidson. That means with the second overall pick, the Orlando Magic select. Blake Griffin with the second overall pick. I figured they might have drafted James Harden, but they don't. Blake Griffin goes to Orlando, and that means James Harden is heading to Detroit, and he is going to be their future star. DeMar DeRozan is heading to the Spurs. I forgot he was in this draft. He's back in San Antonio. I will be changing his jersey number. Number four is Ricky Rubio to the Washington Wizards. auto generated guy to the Grizzlies. Brandon Jennings ended up on the Pistons. Uh, so the Pistons now have two point guard, Brandon Jennings, and shooting guard, James Harden. Okay, solid, solid. Uh, Drew Holiday goes to the Raptors. Tyreek Evans, who won Rookie of the Year this year, goes to the Warriors. Um, Auto-generated Miami Heat. Draft an auto-generated guy. Really, guys? Ty Lawson ends up in Denver. And Mike Green ends up going to the Cavaliers. Um, we're going to simulate to the end of this draft. And Curry comes in at 83 overall. Blake Griffin comes in as an 80. Harden an 80. DeRozan is a 78 overall. Um, any other uh, draft steals? I don't see any draft steals. Uh, I thought that was LeBron James for a second. Y'all almost gave me a heart attack. Um, yep, there. that's a draft. I cannot believe that that just happened. Uh, team player options. Uh, okay, I guess we can't see any of them. Never mind. Um, free agency. Let's see what free agency is looking like here. Jermaine O'Neal, who is always a free agent. The Jazz are looking like they are going to offer him a contract. Assembly a few days into free agency. Nine days to be exact. Everyone has signed except for Carlos Boozer. Um, Jermaine O'Neal ends up in Utah. I think he re-signed, right? Yep, Jermaine O'Neal re-signs. Sean Marion leaves Milwaukee, goes to the Warriors to team up with Tyreek Evans. Gary Payton re-signs with the Mavericks. Baron Davis re-signs with the Miami Heat. Ron Artest ends up leaving the Pistons. And goes to Sacramento. Um, Elton Brand ends up signing with Miami. Rip Hamilton goes to the Rockets. A lot of teams, a lot of players leave, and Carl Malone stays in Miami for probably the last year of his career. Gilbert Arenas joins the Mavericks with Gary Payton. Oh dear God! All right, some pretty big changes. Uh, let's go over to player progression and look at these teams. So let's look at the 76ers on. Players are regressing. They didn't make any big changes. Uh, the Bucks are pretty bad. Uh, the Steph Curry and Carlos Boozer ends up leaving the Nets. Didn't even resign with them. He ends up on the Bulls a lot of years early. And he's going to team up with Steph Curry. This duo is going to be nice. Um, so far, no other changes. This Heat team added Elton Brand. So they're going to be really solid next year. I might move Carl Malone to a center. Because they don't have one currently. The Hornets get a lot worse. Losing Michael Jordan to retirement. This Jazz team... Still my favorites. Jermaine O'Neal, Ben Wallace, and Ricky Davis. Definitely my favorites. Kings added uh, Ron Artest. Um, other than that, no big moves. The reigning champions obviously added Blake Griffin to their team. Oh, yeah. no one. Yeah, they, they did not need um, James Harden on this team. Uh, Gil Marinas, Gary Payton are together. I'm probably going to move Gary Payton to the small forward position. I did not mean to do that. Uh, not small forward. I mean, I'm, I'm going to end up moving. Gary, what the hell happened? Where is everyone? Oh, uh, it, it, it went to the summer league teams. All right, never, never mind then. Never mind. I guess we're not looking at player progression. Um, All star city selection. I know this doesn't mean anything, but I'm just gonna do it. Uh, they want it in Cleveland. Nah, man. 
We're going to Miami. We're going to Miami. Oh, yeah, we need to spin the wheel. All righty, we have the 2009 draft class this season. We are going to get the 2019 draft class in this season. I remember I got to remove the uh, draft class, but 2019 is what we're going to get here. All righty, let's load it. 2019 draft class coming in. I believe that's a Jalen Green draft class, if I'm not mistaken here. Historic 2019 draft class. Advance to next season. And if we go to scouting. No, this is a Zion draft class. Jalen Green was 2021. I got that way off. Uh, John Morant, Zion, Darius Garland, and the crew will be the next draft class coming in. Anyways, we'll go over the power rankings and all that next episode. Leave like guys enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.